Like every other college student, music is a constant in my life. Lucky for me, New York City is a 24-hour music lover's paradise. Unfortunately, I'm totally intimidated by New York's music scene. So, I'm seeking advice from an expert. Not only is she an established writer like I hope to be one day, but she writes for the legendary Rolling Stone magazine. I wanted to have you meet me here in Greenwich Village because Greenwich Village is sort of like the place where the New York City music scene started for real. This is Cafe Wa. And what is Cafe Wa? It's been open since early, the early 60s, and on his very first day in New York, Bob Dylan kind of just walked on in here and asked if he could play. Wow. Do you want to go see something else? Sure. All right, on to the next spot. Okay. So this is CBGB's. This is the birthplace of punk rock and pretty much the most legendary venue in New York City, if not in the entire country. What does CBGB stand for? It stands for Country, Bluegrass, and Blues. Why is it so famous? There really wasn't a place for punk acts to play. In a scene where there were a lot of punk musicians, they kind of just took over the joint. The Ramones obviously um, you know, made this their home. Blondie played here, the Talking Heads played here. Unfortunately, after all these years, CBGB's is actually going out of business at the end of this month. So we're here right now on the eve of the last shows that they'll ever have here. Well, you've seen the stage, but no visit to CBGB's would be complete without seeing if you can survive the bathroom. <laughs> In fact, I think it's well known among anyone who's been here that if you have to go to the bathroom at CV's, just hold it in. This actually is not as bad. It used to be worse, if you can believe it. There's actual soap! <laughs> <laughs> there is a mirror behind there. You just this have to is take my word for it. There's a little patch where you can check your uh, lipstick. And everyone had spray paint on them. But yeah, apparently, right? back in the day, <laughs> you, carried it you in rolled with a can of spray paint in a ladies' room. <laughs> Cause that's punk rock. <laughs> Say goodbye to CBS. Yeah, I'm happy I got to see it. You know, you can't see a show here anymore, but I hear you're a big fan of Katie Tunstall. Yeah, I yeah. love Katie. Yeah, Katie's great. So we got you some backstage passes for her show. That's at Webster Hall, Thank which you. you know it's not CBS, but at least you can use the bathroom there. <laughs> cool. <laughs> This is crazy. I get to meet my new favorite female artist, KT Tunstall. She's performing at the legendary Webster Hall in the East Village. Hi. Hello. I'm Stacey. How are you? Nice to meet you. Welcome to our band emporium of Webster Hall. <laughs> Can I show you around? Yeah. Why don't we do like a... Go on. I, I will try. Yeah, you do the, I'll do this one. Go on. We thought that we'd kind of make a techno track together. If you're up All for right. it. <laughs> there you go. I'll do the hats. Kenny, do you want to do your popping? Showtime, so time to find my seat. Thank you. So this music journalist thing is pretty cool. All access, hanging with rock stars, front row seats. Too bad I have to go home right after this and write a 20-page essay on 19th century imperialism. Oh well. I'm sure there'll be plenty more New York adventures to come. Thank you.